The Russians lost at least five divisions of armored vehicles and tanks in the Pokrovsk direction over the course of a year, according to a report by the Institute for the Study of War. On October the 4th, User X, who tracks visually confirmed losses of Russian equipment and hardware in Ukraine, confirmed that Russian forces have lost 1,830 pieces of heavy equipment in the Pokrovsky district since October the 9th, 2023. During offensive operations in the Pokrovsky district, Russian forces lost a total of 539 tanks and 1,020 infantry fighting vehicles, while Ukrainian forces destroyed 381 tanks and 835 armored vehicles, the report says. In addition, according to his data, Russian troops also lost 26 infantry vehicles, 22 multiple launch rocket systems, 11 towed artillery systems, and 92 unarmored trucks. Moreover, since September the 6th, 2024, Russian troops have lost 25 tanks and 59 armored vehicles in the Pokrovsky district. At the same time, ISW analysts note that since not all losses of Russian equipment are visually documented, the actual number of losses of Russian equipment in the Pokrovsk area is probably much higher. Since October 2023, Russian forces have advanced only 40 kilometers in the Avdiivka Pokrovsky operational direction, and the loss of more than five divisions of equipment for the sake of such tactical successes cannot continue indefinitely without fundamental changes in Russia's ability to resource its war. As the ISW notes in the long term, Russia will likely find it difficult to adequately supply its units with military equipment without putting the Russian economy on a war footing and significantly increasing the pace of defense industrial production, something that Russian President Vladimir Putin has tried to avoid so far. Experts say that seizure of Volodar serves as a warning as Ukrainian forces brace for a battle for the highway and rail hub of Pokrovsk regarded by Moscow as vital for incorporating all of the Donetsk Oblast, the city of Pokrovsk possesses important industrial facilities and its seizure would severely disrupt Ukrainian supply lines along the Eastern Front as well as evacuations of wounded soldiers. If we lose Pokrovsk, the entire front line will crumble, Ukrainian military expert Mikhailo Zyrokov recently warned. The Russian forces have destroyed approximately 80% of critical infrastructure in Pokrovsk. The population of Pokrovsk has significantly decreased, with only 13,050 residents remaining, compared to over 48,000 just six weeks ago. Ukrainian officials continue to implement an evacuation plan that has been ongoing for several weeks.